So on Pico's farm we manage holistically and we move our cows uh, based on our grazing chart. And this grazing chart, in Australia we have a wet season, or a growing season uh, over summer and a dry season in winter. And it's really important the difference because uh, in the growing season grass is growing quite quickly when we've got heat and water and we need to monitor the rate of the growth of the grass because that determines whether or not we're going to overgraze or not. So, and it also determines our recovery. So when, we, when, we, uh, when we're looking at our grow, grazing chart for our growing season, which is our summer, we are wanting to make sure that we don't, we don't come back too soon on a growing plant because that's when you can do damage. We, want to max, we really want to plan the recovery period first so that we're maximizing the growth of the grass. And that's really important part of our grazing chart in the growing season. When we talk, move into the non-growing season, which is our winter, when everything's fairly dormant, yes, we grow a little bit of herbage, and depending on how much rainfall we've had, it'll, you know, it'll vary. However, usually we can't really do damage to grasses because they're not growing as, as vigorously. And so we need to just budget out what we've got in the paddock. So you can go out and work out how much one, you know, what will feed one animal for one day and then you equate that to the area you have available to graze and you can work out how many animals you should be running and shouldn't be running um, and, and make a business decision about your stocking rate. I think, I think with the growing season it's exciting because if you, um, we can monitor that by putting a cage out. So the idea is you just put a cage um, before you move animals into a paddock, you put a cage, a mesh cage, just mesh or wire, fairly sturdy with some star pickets and you can actually measure, not measure, you actually just monitor um, a, the plant inside, outside the plant. So you put the cage over a plant that the animals will, will would have eaten, all right, beside a plant that it, they will actually eat. So you put the cage beside a plant that the animals will eat. What you're doing is when the animals have been in, they've grazed the plant beside the cage, you then move the animals out and then you monitor to see how long it takes for the cage, out, the, the plant outside the cage to look like the volume of the plant inside the cage. We appreciate the plant inside the cage will have grown, but the volume shouldn't have changed that much. So when the plant outside the cage is the same volume, then that's your recovery period. That's when you know you can come back. So it's a very important check to do to ensure that you're not moving too quickly in the summer growing season. It's better to stay too long than to come back too soon in the growing season. Uh, so that's the intricacies of the grazing management. And also then with the recovery, it's really recovery to the capacity of the grass at the time. I mean, we've had, we've had some rain, we'll grow some grass, but because we haven't had a lot of rain, the capacity of the grass, well, the soil moisture profile will maybe grow us maybe five inches of grass, all right? In, if we'd had more rain, we might have got 10 inches of grass. So it depends on the capacity of that particular event, rainfall event, of what you grow. So when that grass has grown to its capacity, given the rainfall it's had, that's fine to graze. By actually allowing um, grass to continue to recover, you know, if it's really, really long, it can actually, you need to make sure you, you get to it before it goes off and goes grey and oxidising. Because when grass is grey and oxidising, it's actually sending carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and it's over rested grass. And in Australia, we see a lot of that in our, on our roadsides and, uh, and it's simply because it hasn't been cycled. And you also see it in paddocks um, and vari in various places, but it's about there's been no animal activity and there's nothing cycling the carbon and so it over rests. So I think it's very important. The recovery is very important in summer and then budgeting out your feed in winter is the key for the grazing chart. Um, and, and managing and, and holistic grazing planning. Okay, so cows eat the food, the feed, then they poo. That goes into the soil and then earthworms help to degrade it. Degrade. Degrade it and 
and then it grows into a plant.